Hello, my dear friends, brothers, and sisters. Today we are on day 113 of the podcast with the Bible through the year. My name is Leo Lozano, Associate Pastor at Revive GMC in Pasadena, Texas. Today we are wrapping up Matthew 26, and we will be reading from verses 69 to verse 75. I am reading from the New Living Translation, but you're welcome to join me in whatever translation you have before you. The important thing is that we decided to get into the Word of God one more day. And my prayer is that we will make some time throughout the day to meditate on the Scripture, right? And yeah, in that, we create a space for the Spirit of the living God to speak to our hearts. So with that in mind, let us go to the Bible together. Meanwhile, Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. A servant girl came over and said to him, You were one of those with Jesus the Galilean. But Peter denied it in front of everyone. I don't know what you are talking about, he said. Later out by the gate, another servant girl noticed him and said to those standing around, This man was with Jesus of Nazareth. Again, Peter denied it. This time with an oath. I don't even know the man, he said. A little later, Some of the other bystanders came over to Peter and said, You must be one of them. We can tell by your Galilean accent. Peter swore, A curse on me if I am lying. I don't know the man. And immediately the rooster crowed. Suddenly Jesus' words flashed through Peter's mind. Before the rooster crows, you will deny three times that you even know me. And he went away, weeping bitterly. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Listen, we can we can say all kinds of things about Peter and him denying Jesus and all that, but he is the only one who actually came back. And we read, he was sitting outside the courtyard. He couldn't go any further, I'm sure. Like, they wouldn't allow him, Right. So it's not that he, he was a coward and he stayed outside. He's just like, that, that's it. That's as far as he could go. But he did. Where, where was everybody else, right? They, they're not there. So we know Peter, yes, he fled at Gethsemane, but he really loves Jesus. He really cares. So he went as close as he could, and he was there. Now, we know. But there's a lot of pressure, right? Uh, it wouldn't be right to judge him because who knows what we would have done, right? But sure enough, what Jesus said came to pass, as always, right? He denies him three times. And there could be plenty reasons why, right? Um, I'm sure there's... There's a lot written out there as far as like why did he deny him. But but here's what gets my attention, right? At the end when he denies him and then the rooster crows and he gets this flashback and he realizes what he has just done. He is in pain. He goes away weeping bitterly. And that goes to show how much he loved Jesus, right? Because at the end of the day, the pain we feel is proportional to the love we feel. Yeah, that's why we mourn. Because we care. Because it hurts when we lose someone, right? In Peter's case, it hurts him because he really loves Jesus. And, you know, he he reacted, right? The denial is, is it's not he, he doesn't want to be associated with him. It's not that he's embarrassed, but he's, he's in, at this point, he's in survival mode. But when he realizes it, he's like, oh, what have I done? What have I done? And friends, we all have had those moments. And I'm just glad that in a few days we will experience the grace that he experienced. And and I know I'm getting ahead of myself. But right now, just, just know 
that we don't always do what we think we will do. We don't always execute according to our desires. We don't always do what we intend to do. Like he told Jesus, I will never leave you. Like I will never die. I'm going to be there. I don't care if I die. Those were his intentions. And I'm sure you and me, we have our own intentions as well. And sometimes those intentions are incredible. They're amazing. But yet sometimes we fail to follow through. Paul said it best, what I want to do, I don't do. What I don't want to do, I end up doing. Yes, friends, it happens to the best of us. So, yeah, let's open up ourselves to the grace that we so much need in cases like this. Because grace is available. Thank you for joining me today. And I cannot wait to be back with you tomorrow. God bless you.